the limited flights and even new normal in place, the beautiful island of Phuket is looking at the year 2021 for recovery. We have more from Mary Grace Alvarez. Hello, Mary Grace. Hello, Alma. Good afternoon and good afternoon to all our viewers. Good afternoon, Mary Grace. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. And now, bringing you the latest updates on the island. In a solemn recognition of the reality of Phuket's gold tourist industry, according to spokesperson for the Southern Chapter of the Thai Hotels Association, that most of the West Coast hotels are unlikely to reopen until the last quarter of this year. For now, Phuket's International Airport remains closed to scheduled flights. And the Tat Tat Chai Road checkpoint at the top of the island is heavily deteriorating to come in and out with plenty of red tape and paperwork. The Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand still has a ban in place for all international flights until at least the end of June, and it could be extended further. The, the only exceptions are repatriation flights of Thais returning home and the return of international diplomats. Phuket's issue as an economy that revolves almost completely around tourism is that even if it throws open the immigration gates at the airport and the doors of its almost 100,000 hotel and accommodation rooms, there are few markets that could provide incoming tourists at this stage. According to the source, it will come from Europe, including the UK. The US and now South America are mired in their own pandemic outbreak and while it's trying to open their economies, are facing imminent second wave of COVID-19. However, Alma, other parts of Thailand have opportunities to open their businesses, like manufacture, agriculture, IT, and large chunks of population business and general savings. Uh, but Phuket has little of that. Some 50,000 plus of the island's 450,000 permanent population have already departed the island either before the borders were closed in mid-March or as soon as they were able to return to their provinces when the border reopened for repatriating people at the start of May. And here is some good news, Alma. Thai food conglomerate Charyon Pokhan Food Chain it plans to offer heavily discounted ready to eat meals for those facing financial difficulties as a result of the economic fallout of COVID-19. CEO Prasit Bundong Safet says, a million meals will be distributed to fresh march shops around the country and it will cost just only 20 baht. There will be a choice of dishes on offer and customers to purchase five meals at a time using the two wallet app will get an additional five baht discount. Six credit to eat meals will be offered under the campaign and according to Nation Thailand, the CPF is also delivering free food to impoverished homes in Bangkok on Tuesday Thursdays and Saturdays, and distributing vouchers to village health care volunteers around the country so they can purchase items at discounted prices at Freshmark branches nationwide. Back to you, Alma. All right. Thank you very much, Mary Grace. Stay safe and stay healthy over there in Phuket. Thank you for your updates. Thank you very much, Alma. Reporting live from Phuket, Thailand, this is Mary Grace Alvarez, and we'll live in Phuket, Thailand.